students, in today's lesson, we will discuss about the images formed in lenses. Our objective is determine using ray diagram the location, orientation, size, and type of image form in lenses. What are these devices have in common? These devices have lenses for them to function. A lens is a transparent material made of glass or plastic that refracts light rays. There are two general types of lenses. One is a convex lens. A convex lens is thicker at the center and thinner at the edges. It is also called converging lens because when light rays pass through it, the refracted rays converge at one point called the real focus. It forms real and virtual images depending on the location of the object from the lens. The second type is called the concave lens. A concave lens is thicker at the edges and thinner at the center. It is also called diverging lens because when parallel light rays pass through it, the refracted rays diverge or spread out. We have to extend the refracted rays in order for them to meet at a point called virtual focus. It forms virtual images. In locating the image form in lenses using ray diagram, there are important parts we have to consider. The principal axis or the optical axis. Optical axis is a straight line passing through the geometric center of a lens and joining the two centers of curvature of its surfaces. Incident rays that passes through the optical axis is not refracted. The two centers of curvature in lenses are called the 2F. The optical center is the geometric center of the lens. The focal point or focus is a point where light rays converge or appears to converge when parallel light rays pass through the lens. The focal length is the distance from the lens optical center to the focus. There are three principal rays in ray diagrams for lenses. For convex lens, PF ray, a ray of light parallel to the principal axis is refracted passing through the principal focus F. FP ray, a ray of light passing through the focus is refracted parallel to the principal axis. And V ray, a ray of light passing through the optical center is refracted in the same direction. Then for concave lens, PF ray, a ray of light parallel to the principal axis is refracted as if passing through the principal focus. FP ray, a ray of light directed towards the focus is refracted parallel to the principal axis. And V ray, a ray of light passing through the optical center is refracted in the same direction. To describe the image, we find the location of the image, the orientation, the size, and type of the image. The location can be beyond 2F, a 2F, between 2F and F, between F and the lens, or in front of the lens. The orientation can be upright or inverted. The size can be smaller than the object or reduced in size, same size as the object, or larger than the object or enlarged. And for the type, it could be real or virtual. The same with the mirror ray diagram, you can choose two of these three principal rays for convex lens and for concave lens. So let's start! We place the object beyond 2F' prime of the lens. Let's use PF ray and V ray. We locate the image between F and 2F, inverted, smaller than the object, and real image. Then we move the object exactly at 2F' prime of the lens. Then we do the ray diagram. 
The image is located at 2F, inverted, same size as the object, and real image. Move again the object that is between 2F prime and F prime. The image is located beyond 2F, inverted, larger than the object, and real image. Then we move again the object exactly at the focus of the lens. There is no image form because refracted rays do not meet since they are parallel to each other. Then place the object between F prime and the lens. We observe that the refracted rays do not meet but we can extend them to locate the image. The image is located in front of the lens, upright, larger than the object, and virtual since we extended the refracted rays. For concave lens, place the object beyond 2F prime of the lens. We use PF ray and FP ray. To locate the image, we extend the two refracted rays. The image is located in front of the lens, upright, is smaller than the object, and virtual. Then place the object between F prime and the lens. The image is located in front of the lens, upright, is smaller than the object, and virtual. We observe that the image form in concave lens is the same regardless of the distance of the object from the lens. But for convex lens, the descriptions of the image depend on the location of the object relative to the lens. The size of the image increases as the object moves toward the lens. The image form in convex lens can be real or virtual. A virtual image is always upright, while a real image is always inverted. To check your learning in this lesson, please answer the following questions. For number 1, an object is placed at 2F prime of a convex lens as shown below. Where is the image located? What kind of image is formed? For number 2, locate using ray diagram the image form if an object is placed beyond 2F prime of a concave lens as shown in the figure below. And for number 3, how does the image change in its location and size relative to the lens as the object comes nearer the convex lens or the concave lens? Alright, we've done so far. I hope you learned a lot in this lesson. See you on my next video lesson. Goodbye and God bless. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.